hi viewers welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm gonna be showing you how to make extra whitening mulatto soap but before that if you are yet to subscribe to the channel kindly do so now so you don't get to miss out on any of my upcoming videos so let's get started So guys, after I uploaded the first mulatto soap tutorial, I kept on receiving questions ranging from the recipe to the color of the soap, so I decided to make a more detailed video for you all, so don't skip any part of this video. In making mulatto soap, the first thing you want to consider is the color of your soap. Do you want your soap to turn out green, blue, orange, white, or yellow? With that, you would know the color of soaps you would need in making your mulatto soap. So I'll be using Larissa Lemon Soap, it is yellow in color and it contains vitamin C. This soap lightens the skin, it fades dark spots, acne and pimple. I'll be using Larissa Carrot Soap and it is orange in color, it is rich in beta carotene, it lightens the skin, it fades dark spots, acne, dark skin patches, it hydrates and unifies the skin tone. I'll be using Alada soap, it is a Thailand soap and it could be used on the face and body. It contains Carambola Nano Extract, White Ginger Extract, Synthetic Collagen 4, Algae Extract and Arbutin. This soap whitens the skin, it fades dark spots and unifies the skin tone. This is what the inside looks like, it is orange in color as well. The next soap on my list is the K Brothers Baby Face with Aha. Guys, I do not joke with this soap. It is also a Thailand soap and it contains Aha. It is a face soap and it could also be used on the body. This soap helps in getting rid of dark spots, acne, pimple, and it smoothens the face like crazy, guys. This is what the inside looks like. It is white in color. I'm actually using two of this soap. I'll be using Gluta C and E Plus. This is also a Thailand soap. This soap can be used on the face and body. It fades dark spots, acne, and it whitens the skin. This is what the inside looks like, it is bright orange in color. I will be using two of this soap as well. The next soap I will be using is the anti-pimple ball soap. This soap helps in preventing and getting rid of pimples. I will also be using 3 days magic ball soap. It helps to treat skin reactions and lots more. I'll be using this as sunblock which prevents sun induced skin damage, it is SPF 90 and also waterproof. I'll be using half cast whitening powder for this soap. I'll be using cinnamon powder which helps in fading dark spots, acne and it lightens the skin. I will be using kojic acid powder which helps in treating hyperpigmentation, dark spots, acne and it lightens the skin. I will be using Tower Snow White powder which is a whitening powder. I will be using this Osha Prapra soap. This soap is a very strong whitening soap. It is a lot more stronger than the ozone soap and it doesn't stain the way the ozone soap does. I will be using Magic White Serum which helps in fading dark spots, eczema, sunspots, hyperpigmentation and it unifies the skin tone. I will be using Shenik oil to prevent and fade green veins. I will be using tea tree essential oil which fades acne, it reduces itching, redness, swelling and skin reactions. 
I will be using shallow stretch mark oil to prevent and fade stretch marks. I will be using preservatives to help this soap last longer. I will be using rescue oil which helps in fading scars, stretch marks, blemishes and no more. I will be using glycolic acid to help exfoliate the skin. I will be using lactic acid which is more gentle on the skin when compared to glycolic acid. It helps in getting rid of dead skin cells, it brightens the skin and reduces skin discoloration. I will be using propylene glycol to help all the whitening artists penetrate the skin. I will be using fragrance to help the soap smell nicely. I will be using Magic Derma which lightens the skin, face dark spots, acne and it unifies the skin tone. I will be using K-Brothers Whitening Concentrate which whitens the skin, face dark spots and it unifies the skin complexion. I will be using Skin Free Milk which is a strong whitening serum. I will be using rosehip oil which moisturizes the skin, it brightens the skin, reduces inflammation, it protects the skin against sun damage, it reduces hyperpigmentation, scars, fine lines, acne, dark spots and it brightens the skin. I will be using lavender oil which reduces acne, it lightens the skin, it reduces redness, wrinkles and loss more. I will be using whitening glycerin which moisturizes the skin and reduces hyperpigmentation. I will be using collagen extra to help boost the skin elasticity. I will be using Moroccan oil which is a whitening oil. And I'll be using Iman Whitening Shower Gel which contains rose and carrot oil. So guys, I'm going for a bright orange colored mulatto soap. That's why I chose yellow, orange and white soaps. You can be going for a pink or an orange mulatto soap and pick blue, green, purple, black, white, yellow, pink and brown soap and still expect your soap to turn out nice. When making yours, you don't have to use the extra types of soaps I'm using. You can decide to use just two or three different types of soap of your choice and you are good to go. So firstly, in a clean bowl, I will grate all my soaps.
after grating i'm putting one tablespoon of half cast powder one tablespoon of cinnamon powder one tablespoon of kojic acid powder and one tower snow white powder Next, I'm putting half of my Osha Prepare Soap after which I'll mix. I'm now putting 31 ml of Moroccan oil. Next, I'm putting 2 tablespoons of Shenik oil. I'm putting 1 tablespoon of Magic White Serum. Next, I'm putting 1 teaspoon of rescue oil After which, I'm putting 5 tablespoons of shallow stretch mark oil Now put in 2 tablespoons of K Brothers Whitening Concentrate. I'm putting 1 tablespoon of Magic Demo. Next, I'm putting 3 tablespoons of skin free milk. I'm putting 1 tablespoon of rose hip oil. Now put in 2 tablespoons of lavender oil After which I'm putting about 6 drops of tea tree essential oil I'm now putting 2 tablespoons of collagen extract
and put it to the response of wiping glass showing. Next, I'm putting two tablespoons of glycolic acid. After which, I'm putting two tablespoons of lactic acid. I'm now putting one tablespoon of propylene glycol. After which, I'm putting one tablespoon of preservatives. Next, I'm putting two tablespoons of fragrance. Lastly, I'm putting three cups of almond whitening shower gel, after which I'll mix everything properly.
So after mixing, I'll cover this and leave it for about 72 hours. So this is our soap after about 72 hours. I'm putting about one and a half tablespoon of this some block, then I'll mix. You can see that the soap is not as smooth, so I'll stick blend it a little.
After stick blending, I'll cover it and leave it for another 72 hours. After 72 hours, you can see that the soap is a lot more smooth than it was. So I'm just mixing, after which I'll stick blend a little. So mulatto soap is now ready to be packaged. If you don't really like the color, you can add orange food coloring in bits until you get what you want. Same thing applies to other colors. But if your soap turned out dark, don't bother adding food coloring to it and expect some miracle to happen. It will only end up looking like poop. If you follow this recipe correctly, there's no way your soap will turn out dark. Another thing that can make your soap turn out dark is your choice of packaging. If you notice the two times I cover this soap to soften, the top of the soap turned dark. That only happened because I covered the bowl with a steel tray. So your packaging, most especially the top, should not be steel like. It shouldn't be like this, else your soap would definitely turn dark. You should use a plastic packaging like this with a plastic top for your mulatto soap to maintain its color. Although the soap remains very effective if it turns dark, but it will be less attractive. This mulatto soap is a lot more stronger and very effective than the normal mulatto soap. If you are dark, you would want to avoid this soap. You can try out this recipe 
recipe and drop comments on how best it worked for you. While using the soap, be sure to use your sunscreen and don't forget to exfoliate at least 3 times a week in order to achieve that well blended white skin. This is all for today guys, thank you so much for watching, hope you found it helpful, if you liked it, do give this video a thumbs up, share with your friends and also help this channel grow by clicking on the subscribe button below and when you do, don't forget to click on the notification bell icon beside it to get notified when I upload a new video. That's why you won't get to miss out on any of my upcoming videos. See you all in my next video. Bye!